Hi, thanks for joining me today for yoga. So you can see I have my headphones on. That's just so I can listen to the music as we go. Um, hopefully you're following along on Spotify and the playlist is Yoga 36. So you can have your uh, mat near a wall if you want because I do a little bit of inversion here. If you're not gonna invert, don't worry about that. And you can get ready to press play in three, two, one. So begin in a comfortable seat. I'm kneeling because this moves rather quickly. So just take a deep breath in, roll the shoulders back and down. And then take the arms into the sky, look up, open the chest. And on the exhale, find child's pose, toes together, knees apart. Breathe, let your fingertips connect with the ground. Crawl the fingers way far forward and then look forward, slide onto the tummy, baby cobra on the inhale. Exhale, belly to spine as you release down. And again, draw the heart forward to come up, baby cobra. Exhale, release back down. Last one, inhale, traction back with the arms so you can lift forward and up, lengthening the low back as you're here. Releasing down. You can tuck the toes under, press up to modified push-up, and then drawing the elbows in, find a chaturanga, and extend the arms. So basically just a natural push-up, but you're drawing the elbows in so they tickle the sides of your waist. You can add in pulses if you want, or just stay here with your full extension and bend the arms. Firing up in the triceps, staying tight, belly to spine whole time. And then pulling back with the toes tucked under to a parallel legged child's pose. Stretching the top of the feet. Look forward and then walk the feet towards the hands, feet mat width apart, find squat and extend the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, find squat, let the head drop. And then inhale, lengthen the spine, reaching the fingers forward. Hold the elbows, just hang. You can shift the weight side to side. Let the head again relax heavy. Gently finding center. Releasing the arms, rolling up. Inhale, reaches the arms up. Exhale, drop the right arm down. Gaze side and down as you side bend stretch. And then inhale, reach right arm up. Side bend opposite direction. Inhale, both arms reach up, gaze up. Exhale, belly to spine, chin to the chest, kind of fold down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, squat, roll the body up, head's the last thing to get there. Arms, inhale, reach up. Exhale, as arms come down, look up, and then pull belly to spine, pull chin to the chest, roll down. Inhale, lengthen the heart forward, hips over the heels. Exhale, squat, begin to roll up, and again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms open, chest lifts, belly to spine, round down. Inhale, weight into the balls of your feet. Exhale, squat, roll up. And then just begin to roll through your feet. I'll turn to face the camera just so you can see the feet aren't sickled. You're feeling even through the ball of your foot as you roll through either foot. Pause even in the feet. Reach the arms up and then bring your arms straight out to the side, little forward of the body. Rise up onto the balls of your feet. As your arms come forward, find a bend in the knees, almost like a little wall slide halfway down. And then press into the balls of the feet, extend. And again, slow bend of the knees, riding an elevator down. And then rising back up, release the heels down, inhale, arms reach up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, arch the back, exhale, fold again, and then again, roll up, inhale, reaching up, exhale, folding forward, a sun breath, inhale to lengthen, and exhale, folds, again, release and roll up. Stepping the feet a little wider apart. You can take the arms behind the back. First, if you want big shoulder rolls, actually big circles with the arms. Then hands come behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart. 
On the exhale, come forward halfway, find the weight into the tops of your feet, and then bend the knees, reach the arms forward, bring yourself down to the ground with the hands, and you're finding a twist to the right. Left hand center, right hand to the sacrum. You might sit here, you might reach the right arm up to the sky, hand waves to the side you're facing. And then gently bring yourself to switch sides. Again, the more you can bring your weight into the balls of your feet, the better here. Pressing down into the ground at the bottom fingers so that you're rebounding. Really down center. Bring it into a kind of a sumo squat shape. And as you roll up, find your squat again. Wrapping right arm under the left Garudasana arms. You can find a little pulse here if you want in the base of your squat. And then extend the legs, inhale. Exhale, knees bend. You can pulse if you want. Inhale, extend. Release the arms. Left arm under right, wind up. Knees bend again. And then inhale, hip legs lengthen. Exhale, knees bend. Inhale, legs extend. Releasing the arms. Step towards the back side of your mat. <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, take a lengthening of the spine. And on the exhale, you're going to walk it out. Find downward facing dog. Feet nice and wide. You can pedal out the feet. Reach one heel for the ground, then the other. Connect with the push of the fingerprints into your mat down. So you're pressing the ground away from you. Your arms are active. Take it forward to plank, drop your knees down just under your hips. You can walk your feet in a little bit and now you're finding in a supported back here. So almost like a tabletop, but the knees hover off your mat. Release the knees down, inhale, arch the back, look up, and then you can bring your forehead or your chin down to the mat for a puppy dog. If it's awkward for the back, tucking the toes under should help here. Relieve a little bit of pressure. Letting the chest open up a little more, letting the breath again fill up the whole back body. And take it forward and down into upward facing dog. Toes can point or you can tuck toes under, whatever feels good for you. Make sure you feel the wrap of your triceps back so you get that nice open chest again, still pushing the ground away so you're really um, resisting gravity. And belly to spine, take it back to, to downward facing dog. And look forward and then walk the feet up to the hands. I like big toes touch, heels a little apart. Roll up to stand. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lengthen the heart forward. And exhale, hands down, find plank. Can shift forward, halfway down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, belly to spine, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out. Connecting still with the ribs feeling tight, feeling pulled in, and then look forward and up, walk the hands up to the feet. Lengthen on the inhale, fold on the exhale. Chest forward to come up. Hands to heart center, Tadasana. Again, inhale up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale to arch. Exhale, finding plank again. Chaturanga. Inhale, open the chest up, dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you breathe here, you should see that the heels hide right behind the balls of your feet. A little bend in the knees, completely fine. Look forward, walk feet up to the hands, inhale, arch. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Soft knees, left leg steps back, warrior two. Arms reach out to the side. Don't mind my little potter there. I'm growing a plant with some seeds. Breathe in your warrior two. <laughs> and then we'll start to move it. So exhale, reach left arm over, find a side angle. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, again back to your side angle shape. Inhale, feel energy out the fingertips, reach out to go up and back. 
and then bringing it into your side angle. You're welcome to stay hand on thigh or hand to the floor. I want to find a half bind here. Up to you if you feel ready to find full bind. Turn in your bottom hand first and then maybe reach it around to find the opposite hand. Wherever you are doesn't matter as long as you're breathing in your shape. Try to feel as relaxed as you can in your neck without much tension. Option, shorten the stance with the back leg and come into bound triangle. You can play with extending the leg. Go slow. This is a deep stretch for early in the class. Release. Find parallel feet facing the side. Inhale, lengthen, exhale as you walk the hands back to find a tripod shape. You can keep the weight again forward in the tops of the feet, the belly pulling in strong, and just breathe into that forward fold. Inhale, fingers under shoulders to lengthen. Hands, hips, elbows, sky, so you come up with an open chest. And then stance gets bigger and you'll find warrior two facing the opposite side. Back toes can turn in a little bit so that you support with the pinky side of that back toe and then on the exhale come into your side angle. Inhale reverse the warrior tip back. Exhale side angle reach. Again inhale reach fingers out to go up so you lengthen and then exhale left arm either thigh or down to the ground. Find whatever variation you found on the other side with your arms. I shorten my stance so that I can really feel the support coming from both legs, but you should feel um, whatever feels good for your body. Pressing down with the back foot to lengthen your heart forward and out the opposite direction. And then again, if you want to play with that bound triangle again, it's a deep stretch so early, but you can if you feel comfortable. Breathe whichever shape you're in again. And then as you release, turn the feet out side to side and begin to spider crawl. Hands can be on the floor, hands can be on the thighs. Just feel your heart lengthening forward and up as you shift side to side here. So you're opening up in the inner thighs, but you're also lengthening with the torso, lengthening with the body. Walk the feet in under you. And then you can step to the back side of your mat. Feet together to touch. Utkatasana, chair pose. Press into the heels, rise up. Hands to asana. Inhale to sit. Exhale to rise. Inhale to sit. Press into the heels as you rise. Again, inhale Utkatasana. Exhale, mountain pose. This time, rise up. Feel the inner thigh squeeze, the inner heels touch. Knees bend. Again, you're riding kind of an elevator, so back stays straight and over top your hips as best you can. As you find your way down, you can jump back a little bit so you have room to find crow pose. If you're more comfortable staying in malasana, go for it. Otherwise, the more you look forward, the less you're going to face plant. Pressing into the ground, pulling your abs and pulling your heels up towards your glutes, towards your butt. And then release down, roll out the wrists if you need to, find a squat. The arches of my feet are over the sides of my mat so that my heels can rest down into the ground. You can also roll up a blanket under your heels here. And extend the legs, find feet hip width apart, yogi toe lock the big toe. Inhale to lengthen, exhale folds. Elbows pull side to side, shoulders pull up the back, the head just hangs heavy. And then last part, shift that weight forward. So you're as much out of your heels as possible, not endangering your hamstrings. Inhale again, arch the back to come out. Heel toe the legs a little bit inwards and then roll the body up. Now you can step right foot forward, left leg back. Prayer behind your back with your hands. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to fold halfway down. Anchor with the back heels, square the hips, and then exhale, fold. You can keep the openness across your chest as best you can. Release the arms. Breathe into the side body stretch and into the hamstring stretch. Parvrita Trikonasana. <laughs> Left arm. I put it outside my foot. You can also take it inside. Right hand to the hip 
or right arm reach up to the sky, palm faces the side you're twisting. Power in the back leg, that's your anchor. Lengthening through that bottom waistline. And then exhale, standing split. Press into the front heel. Lengthen the back leg out to go up. I'm just using a little bit of a chaturanga arm to draw myself in a little tighter, a little closer to the leg. Gently release back leg down to front. Soft knees as you roll up. And we'll reverse. Left leg forward. Hands join behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale to fold halfway down. Find your bearing. Square hips, long chest forward, and then exhale, fold a little deeper. You can always support with blocks here if that works better for you. And then release the arms, breathe into Parshvottanasana, side body stretch. Taking it into your twisted triangle, right hand either inside or outside the foot. Left hand can be on sacrum, or you can again reach it up to the sky. Notice that you're pushing the ground away from you so that you lengthen up through your back shoulder blades out that top uh, middle finger. And then release down, standing split, press into left heel. Reach out with your big toe and the right leg, and then it goes out to go up. I like to give it a little squeeze, a little pulse, just to deepen the stretch. And back leg meets front. Gently roll up again. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, release the arms down. Taking kind of a standing camel. So you can draw your elbows back, your fingertips drop down your butt. Lift the gaze, inhale. And exhale, release that. We'll have a seat onto the ground for the rest of the series. Bringing yourself into Navasana, boat pose. So squeezing the inner heels, lean back. Let your shins come parallel to the floor. Flex the feet. And then roll through your feet. So press out through the ball of your foot. If you feel comfortable, extend the knees. Inhale to lean back. Exhale, knees bend and up you come. Inhale to lean it back. Exhale to come right back up. Notice this comes from your belly, not your back. You can take these variations where you um, reach to the left, but roll onto the right butt. This will work the obliques a little bit. Wherever you are, you want to feel this work in the middle of your belly. So no back and not much else. Get ready to come back center. Just hold there with the tuck of the tail. And then come right back up. Find Dandasana. Breathe, inhale, lengthening through the spine, lengthening through your legs as much as you can. Maybe a slight bend in the knees. And then exhale, bring your hands down and back. Feet hip width apart as you find tabletop. I keep chin to the chest to guard my neck. Release the hips down to the ground. Again, Dandasana, inhale to reach up. This time, exhale, folds you forwards. I like to point my toes here, get a little bit of stretch of the feet for the legs. Abs pull in on the inhale so that you can exhale, fold deeper. And gently release the legs, roll up. Now, I'm moving my mat closer to the wall here just for a bit of padding. You can also take a blanket under your back knee. I'm putting my right shin straight up the wall. And then using your arms, you can stamp the left foot onto your mat carefully. You want knee over heel on that left foot. Now gently bring yourself um, up. You'll find uh, the stretch to be rather intense, perhaps for the back side, uh, the back leg. This is your King Arthur stretch. So you can also come forward a little bit if you need to. I like to take my hands into kind of a tripod head, uh, headstand shape and bring that against the wall. It's a little hard with these headphones. <laughs> Release down again. Use your arms, use your belly to switch your sides. So I find it easier to kind of tuck my knee up against the wall first. Again, you really might need a blanket for this. I have really tough knees. As you bring your bottom foot forward, again, heel under the knee is super important. 
Think a right angle with that front leg and then gently you're gonna bring your butt back. Maybe your butt doesn't come back as far as mine. That's okay wherever you are where you feel a nice stretch in the back side of your body, back um, the back leg. And then releasing when you feel good here. You could always hold it longer as well. That was pretty quick in and out. <laughs> I must, I am on an agenda, I have a mission. Coming into child's pose whenever you're ready. And then rolling forward, right leg forward. We've got pigeon pose. So right knee towards the outer edge of your mat. Inhale to root down and lift the heart. Exhale to fold down. If your hips are not square, use a blanket for support. So you wanna make your hips as square and as supported as possible. The goal is not to send your butt down to the ground. The goal is to be really square as you fold forward and safely stretch your outer hip. If this doesn't feel good for you, you can take a figure four shape, laying on your back or sitting on your butt. And from here, find your little tripod shape with your elbows. To come out, we're gonna come through dolphin. So I look a little towards the forearms shoulders over the elbows and I walk my feet in. A little bend in the knees will help you find more uh, work in your belly to lift your hips up over your shoulders. So if you need the bend in the knees, that's fine. To come out of this, just slide your left knee forward to the outer edge of the mat. Again, inhale to lift and lengthen and exhale to fold. Let the shoulders relax, let the jaw relax. And then when you're ready to come out this side, we'll take a downward facing dog. And so from here, as you come up, you can kind of choose your own destination. Um, I'm going for some wall inversions. It's kind of early though, so see how you feel. I'm giving you the weight scale hands. <laughs> Face your wall if you're gonna go for it. Carefully find either that tripod shape with your arms, or I'm gonna go for pincha. So I've got my arms parallel, kind of a, num a letter L with the thumbs out. I look towards the wall for my pincha again. Super careful with this. It's kind of an advanced posture. I'm used to doing it. It's not a kick with the top leg, but it's a spring off that bottom leg. So you just kind of push lightly with your foot muscles and your abs take you up into your balance. Okay. Well, yeah, just if you're in that headstand as you breathe here, find as much help as you can with your arms for your neck so that you've got super steady in your base, a lot going on in your arms. Whenever you're ready, no rush, find child's pose. And then walk the hands and under the shoulders to roll up. And you can take yourself to lay down, feet against the wall so you have a little bit of a boundary. You can feel your feet touching the wall. And then draw the heels in close to your fingertips. Feet hip width apart. Deep breaths, let your back settle onto the ground. And then you can press your left leg forward onto the wall, right thigh into the chest. Either find happy baby, or I take kind of a untraditional dancer stretch here for my inner thigh, <laughs> whatever feels better for your body. And we're moving from this shape into a twist. Knee bends and then pass the knee over the body, bringing it towards the other direction. Unwind your body, take your gaze to the right. The knee can always rest onto a block, onto a blanket. No need to force it. And then gently coming center, extend right leg, draw left knee into the chest. Half pigeon, half lizard, half happy baby. <laughs> you 
Either stay there or take the inner thigh stretch. And then again, bringing this into the twist, knee across to the right side of the body. No pressure, again, just letting the body unwind naturally. And now from here, any other stretches you need, go for it. Otherwise, you can find Shavasana. Snuggling the arms under the body a little bit so that the chest is open. Slightly moving chin towards the chest so the throat is soft. And as you exhale heavier and heavier into the ground, you can feel all the little muscles release and relax. You're welcome to stay here as long as you want or come into a seated meditation. Take your time. Namaste.